Welcome back to more Spelunky with Brian. This is something out of the ordinary. It is post-commentary, uh, for reasons that I'll describe in a moment. Uh, but basically, I had a really good run. I had a run that was far superior, got a whole lot further than I ever have in the game, and so I wanted to share it with you guys. Unfortunately, I wasn't recording audio. I wasn't recording any of my own voice and commentary when I did this run, because I had just, I was having trouble sleeping last night, and so when I couldn't get to sleep, I was like, okay, let me get up and do something else to try to tire myself out. So I was like, okay, let's play some Spelunky. And I played a game of Spelunky, and it turned out to be the best game ever. And so I'm glad that I turned on the recording, but I didn't set up the microphone or anything. So now we're going to do some post-commentary. I'm placing a bomb to go ahead and get down here, because in general, uh, I was trying to do the strategy that I've been doing a little bit recently, which is trying harder to make progress and less on trying to explore the whole level and collect all the money and different things. Uh, but overall, I think I'm also just getting a bit better, mostly at of kind of avoiding obstacles and getting to the exit. So we picked up Damsel Doggy, Damsel Doggy! And are trying to find our way to the exit here. A few of these blocks that we can push around. And, but yeah, overall for kind of like a 1-1 level, this was pretty straightforward. Got a bat over here, and Damsel Doggy is going to take the arrows for us. Thanks, Damsel Doggy. And then I think I just make it over to here, and there's pretty much an exit. I decide that there's some easy gold that it's, like, hard to justify just kind of, like, passing up, not getting this gold that's just sitting around when I still have a bit of time left. But I was going to get those couple pieces of gold, and I'd also picked up a rock to bring to the next level. And we'll see how things continue. All right, 1-2, I hear snakes. That means there's going to be a snake pit. And someone has recently hinted that there's kind of like loot in the bottom of the snake pit that I'm not sure that I have figured out. But this is one of the rare times where I've gotten an item shop on the second, uh, second level. And one of the items that I could purchase was the Matic, and I had exactly the amount that I needed. And the Matic is pretty useful. So I decided I was going to go ahead and spend all my money to buy that. I've still got five hearts because I haven't taken damage. I saw the crazy shopkeeper guy over there, but they are super dangerous. And I decided I wanted to try to use the key and use the Matic because it seems like the Eye of Ujat in combination with the Matic would be pretty useful because you can see where things are hiding inside the walls and you have a tool that allows you to break the walls. So I was going to try to advance with both of these things. There's the snake pit over there. And so I was thinking to myself, okay, I can get over there, and it's probably the case that the locked chest that I would need to use the key on is going to be somewhere over in this region. So I went ahead and dug myself over here, but then decided that I would just use the key as a projectile, which worked with great success. Sadly, didn't work with great success the second time around. As usual, I'm still very poor when it comes to predicting when a projectile or a ricochet or something is going to like fall back and like hit me in the head. But that's okay. I forget what that thing is. I think it's like some kind of like teleportation device that the little arrow trap exploded. In any case, I seem to recall having had it before and not being able to make good use of it. And I have the Matic still lying on the ground over here, and so I decided the Matic was going to be more important. But first things first, I found the locked chest, and so we get the Eye of Ujat. We go ahead and rescue Damsel Doggy. And then we can pick back up the Matic and continue on to the next level. Boom Noodle. I should mention also that this uh, past weekend I was watching some more NFL football preseason, as I enjoy doing. All right, at this point I have to kind of like juggle my light and the Matic, uh, the Matic uh, pickaxe, and so I keep going kind of like back and forth uh, and trying to figure out how I can kind of advance both things down the level. I ended up dropping the torch down there. I live in the Seattle area, and so in terms of NFL football, the Seahawks are my home team. And they have won all of their preseason games thus far, and have looked pretty good. Their defenses looked very good, and forced a number of turnovers. And so I'm excited about the prospects of the NFL season coming up. Sadly, once again, I get hit by my own ricochet. Although, admittedly, I don't have a lot of experience with the powder kegs. And so I wasn't kind of prepared for it to be 
blowing up quite that far. And I saw there was this beetle up on the ceiling, and so I wanted to try to get him, because he's worth a ton of money. Uh, but he ended up kind of flying away. And I think I might have just decided to move on at this point. So I'm still trying to advance both the torchlight and the matic pickaxe. Downwards. And you can see there's a little altar over on the right where you could sacrifice some kind of being. And I used my whip there, somewhat cleverly, remembering that you can actually whip all the different items and they react to kind of push some things down. And it looked like that there was a, uh, a blue gem inside that rock, and so I went ahead and broke it open with the pick. And, right, I was trying to make sure that I wasn't going to die to the snake who was spitting, spitting venom. But I found the exit, and since it was a dark level, I was like, let's just get out of here with my life and keep going. Alright, so we're already to 1-4, and I still have 4 hearts, so that's pretty good. Not doing all that well in terms of bombs and ropes, but we're surviving. As usual, I have trouble getting on and off ladders. I was really worried about jumping too high and getting hit by the arrow trap. And now I had to make sure that the snake wasn't going to spit venom at me as I tried to walk across. And I had an arrow trap that I needed to consider. And another. But we can disable them by just throwing random objects down in front of their path. Yet another one of those venomous, venomous snakes. I see Damsel Doggy down there. And I'm trying to figure out how like all the different areas connect. And I finally decide, okay, I'm just going to dig my way down. I'm not sure how many uses the Matic Pickaxe has. But I was willing to spend a few in order to get Damsel Doggy. Because I know that so far I'm having a decent run. And one of the best ways to continue having a decent run is to continue to get more hearts. And there was a bit of money down here as well. Now I have a bunch of things that I need to, like, shuttle down in a different direction. And so Damsel Doggy goes first. Let's go ahead and throw him. Oh, he took the Venom for us. And then he takes out the Snake. And then I can run back down and pick up the Pickaxe as well. And I think Damsel Doggy will have gotten back up and walked off the ledge. Yeah, so I'm not even sure where he is. Oh yeah, there he is. He's down there. And so he's already set off the Arrow Trap that was over there. So thank you once again, Damsel Doggy. There's one of the big spiders down here, and that always makes me nervous. It looks like I'll probably be able to get past him without having to deal with very much, though. And so Damsel Doggy's running off in the correct direction. Yes, the spider never woke up because I didn't go underneath him. And so once again, I'm very happy with this outcome. We're going to get Damsel Doggy to the exit. We're going to keep continuing on with the pick. And we've made it all the way to the jungle, and I still have... I think with a lick from Damsel Doggy here, do I have five hearts now? Yeah. So that is super cool. Monkeys are dangerous. They like to steal your stuff. And so I wanted to try to whip and kill this monkey, but I'm not particularly good at that. I also don't have a good sense of all of their behavior. And so you have to like be within a certain distance of them before they start jumping on you. And yeah, it's hard to kind of jump on their heads. And fortunately he was just stealing gold out of my pocket rather than bombs. But eventually we managed to deal with the monkey. I see one of these spike pits that I'm not good at. And so I was deciding, hmm, do I want to go that way, or do I want to make my own way? Well, I've got the Matic, so why don't I make my own way? So I head down here, and almost managed to successfully kill the bat without taking any damage. Uh, go ahead and use the pick in order to deal with that. I've come across this trap before, and it's pretty easy, uh, especially if there's nothing harmful to fall in, and so might as well go ahead and try to get the idol as well, although at this point now I have three different items I'm trying to shuttle around. I decided I didn't want to head down towards all of that mess with the monkeys and the spikes. So instead, we will head this way, we'll let Damsel Doggy do some walking on his own. I didn't look down to be completely sure that he was going to be safe, but he ended up being safe, so that was good. And so now, once again, I just got too many objects, and then the Ujat Eye blinked there. Uh, just a moment ago, and I noticed it, but I'm not sure what it means. And I think it might be related to something that's going to happen a little bit later on. But in any case, I just continued on. The Ujat Eye stopped blinking. I took some stupid skeleton damage there, but I also rescued a damsel at pretty much the same moment. Uh, and so I'm going to get that heart right back, and so we'll be back up to four hearts. And I managed to shuttle all of these items all the way down to the bottom. 
And so I decided, all right, I'm happy with that. Let's just continue on. We're going to go to the second level of the jungle. And so we do. And so at this point, I'm doing pretty well. Like, this is definitely one of my better runs already. I see some objects here and a box. It's just the parachute, but the parachute, that's nothing to sneeze at. And it actually looks like it might be useful right here. Because at this point, I'm trying, once again, just to advance to exits. So I'm like, let's just take advantage of the parachute. And I might be able to get, like, all the way down to the next exit by utilizing the parachute. And so that's exactly what I'm doing here. Basically trying to see how far down towards the exit I can get. I don't know exactly where it is, so I'm just trying to guess about left and right. Uh, but we've gotten down to the bottom of the level. And so now if I can just find the exit... And I see it! It's right over there! So I'm like, yeah, let's just keep moving. Staying alive, staying alive, ah, 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 ah. I am staying alive. Alright, I see Damsel Doggy, I see a bunch of monkeys. There's a whole lot going on over here. Let's see if we can blow up some of these guys. Oops, well he's gonna blow up. Let's get the monkey off of me! Kapow! That was exactly what I wanted to happen. It was mostly luck, but I was hoping I'd be able to blow up a monkey. Alright, he just stole some of my ropes. All three of my ropes would have just landed out on the side now. And so fortunately I managed to kill the monkey. I managed to get the ropes back. And I still have the mattock. And I think I could still jump over there and get over to where Damsel Doggy is. Yeah, because if I jump back to the right, then I could jump back to the left. And so I was just trying to, like, reason through everything that I'm doing over here. And I decided I did want to go after Damsel Doggy. So I go ahead and toss the mattock down so that I can pick up Damsel Doggy. Get a little money. Once again, I'm going to avoid the crazy shopkeeper because I've got a good run going and I don't want to kind of, like, spoil it and lose it. There's the mattock pickaxe. I can pick that back up pretty easily. Let's go ahead and try to get Damsel Doggy towards the exit. Kind of like learn and understand where the exit is. Alright, Damsel Doggy's underwater, but that's okay. It seems like there's no such thing as running out of air bubbles or something in this game, as far as I can tell so far. Alright, the frogs. They jump pretty high and pretty far, so they always make me a little nervous. We can grab Damsel Doggy later. Let's see if we can find our way to where the exit is. And at the same time, I was going to go ahead and do some damage to a caveman. But now I'm bringing Damsel Doggy more towards the exit. And, ooh, there's a frog. All right, I would like to get the Matic back, but then I see that there's a Tiki Trap in the way, and I'm unsure if I can actually make that jump. And I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to preserve my good run that I've got going gonna leave the mattock behind because I've also used it a bunch and I'm not sure. I think it runs out of durability at some point and it just like breaks or goes away. So I'm continuing on this time without any items. There's a caveman but I can just knock him into the tiki trap. And this is another another level that seems to be kind of like heading downwards very quickly uh, which mostly seems good because at this point I'm having such a good run I'm just trying to advance advance advance. So I carefully avoid the Tiki Trap over here. And then get all the frogs to jump away. Apparently that orange frog who was filled with swamp gas got hit by a Tiki Trap and exploded or something. In any case, I saw the exit right down here. And so I'm going to jump down here. And then, yeah, if I time it right, we can head to the exit. And did I make it all the way through the jungle? I did! And so, here is Tunnel Man! The deep lit's fly in my way. Can you give me two ropes? I've only got three ropes, but at the same time, Tunnel Man is really useful if you want to learn about a new area, so that you can just start in that area. So, if we help Tunnel Man out a few times, we can start in the ice caves. Alright, I've only been here once or twice. But I see an item shop. Climbing gloves are awesome, so of course I'm going to get them. Spring shoes, also awesome, so of course I'm going to get them. Ropes, I was just about out, so of course I'm going to get them. All right, we've got an elephant who's shooting, like, freezing ice beams. Or a woolly mammoth or something. We've got some icy areas. We've got something that just exploded off camera or something. I've only been to the ice caves very briefly before, and so I'm seeing a whole bunch of things here that I've never seen before. Uh, but I have seen money before and treasure boxes, and so I know what to do with them. So let's go ahead and do that. You slide around when you're on these kind of, like, light blue ice things. Hey, there's a box! Great. But with my climbing gloves and the spring shoes, now I can jump up really high uh, to go get this box, which contains even more ropes. Great, so I've got plenty of ropes. 
I like the music on the ice level. These sounds of all these things shooting are kind of tiresome. And then there's a crazy UFO over there that I forget what that does. And then there's like some kind of crazy Iceman Sasquatch kind of things all flying around. So I was going to try to whip this thing, but it kind of flies out of range. And so I tried to just go past him, but it ends up that he shoots. If you get right below that uh, alien flying guy, he shoots like a laser beam at you. So now I'm like, all right, I definitely just want to find the exit and get out of here. And so I tried to throw something at him, but couldn't. But can I whip him? Whoop! I hit one of those jumpy things. Oh my goodness. But I made it to the exit, and I'm just happy to kind of be through there. Although it's just another level of the ice caves now, so we're going to see more of the same. And... Yeah, at this point, I was just kind of blown away by this is the farthest that I've ever gotten. And at the same time, kind of like being unhappy about the fact that I hadn't set up the recording. Uh, to record my mic, but post-commentary will work. Uh, I figured you guys would want to see this run. Alright, so it seems like that little Sasquatch guy is a lot like the caveman. Uh, in terms of how he reacts. Here's Damsel Doggy! Hello, Damsel Doggy! Alright, this could help me out. I've got five hearts already. And I don't remember the logic for choosing to go this way. I think I thought I was near the right edge of the screen, and so I wanted to head back to the left to try to find the exit. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm just trying to look around and discover where the exit is once again. Because another thing I do remember about the Ice Caves area is that there's just void below. And so... Oh, Yeti? Playful creature that unfortunately... I didn't get a chance to read all of that. <laughs> yeah, there's void directly below me. And so I can get myself into a lot of trouble here if I fall off. But there's the exit! Guarded by another one of these little Yetis. And so I could just jump on him. Rescue Damsel Doggy. Get out myself. And I am farther than I've ever been, level 3-3, and I've got six hearts, and I've got seven ropes, and I've got the climbing shoes, the climbing shoes, the spring shoes, and the climbing gloves. I've only got one bomb left, and so that's a disadvantage. There's a cute penguin who goes, wink, wink, wink. I don't know why he makes that noise. That's not exactly what I would expect a penguin to do. And that crazy thingy just fell. And so it's like, if you stand on that thing for a moment, then like all of a sudden gravity kicks in. And so, more unknown perils of the ice caves that I'm discovering. Climbing gloves are super valuable in here. Alright, I managed to whip that guy, and then, like, the little alien dude parachuted out. And then he runs around. I'm not sure if he's going to do anything. I took some fall damage there. I felt dumb about it. Uh, but Damsel Dog, he happens to be right near the exit. So, let's take advantage of that to get me back up to six hearts. And, look at this. I'm unstoppable. 3-3 completed, on to 3-4. It feels like the 4th of July, which I guess would mean, like, fireworks or something, I'm thinking. Something just blew up somewhere. And, all right, there's another one of those guys. I thought about breaking in and realized, A, I only have one bomb, and B, I have a great run going. Why, why spoil it? You can see this guy shoots a freeze ray because he'll shoot that little uh, Yeti, and then the Yeti, like, gets encased in ice for a few seconds. And I think that's the same thing that the... There's like a freeze ray gun that you can buy in an item shop that does the same thing. So I'm trying to use my climbing gloves and different things. There was a little jumpy pad there that I didn't even realize. And so fortunately I kind of fell on that because I was worried about taking fall damage. I think the little things with the red lights to the left of me explode if you step on them. So I'm worried about not hitting that. And at the same time, just trying to navigate my way to the exit. I've got six hearts already, so I decided to leave Damsel Doggy behind rather than spend a bomb. But at this point, look at this. I got all the way through the ice caves, and now we're going to go up to the fourth level that I can't even remember what it's called right now. You hear prayers, but Takali, the temple! These ruins have been here for thousands of, blah, thousands of years, but who built them? I can't believe I made it to the temple. I know absolutely nothing about this area. The good news is, it seems to combine some of the worst things of the jungle and the mines. And at least a lot of those things are familiar to me, but then there's like a mummy on the right, and a crazy dog on the left, and this mummy is like shooting crickets out of its mouth, or I don't know what. And so I've got no idea what to do here. There's this guy in the bottom left that's doing something, and so... Alright, here's a guy. Can I whip him? Yeah. But I don't know when he comes back to life what he's going to do to me, and so I've just been trying to like whip him continually, but I got hung up on the ladder. There's also a box over here that I really want to get. I really want to get. 
Can I get the box? Hooray, I got the box. It's got more ropes. Well, I've already got a ton of ropes. All right, I got really lucky there that Hawkman jumped right over me. He's part of the Olmec coat. And you may recall from like the initial tutorial or whatever, like Olmec like haunts the caverns or something. I don't know, it's like the main god of this area. Uh, in any case, Hawkman, I've got his dead corpse now, so at least I've got a projectile. And... Alright, managed to kill something off. At this point, I'm just trying to, like, find my way out of this level and get a sense of what all is around. Climbing gloves and getting kind of hung up on different levels. Alright, there's... I'm gonna make a sacrifice to Callie. And I'm not sure what I got out of that, though. I didn't notice if I... I didn't get any items. Sometimes when you drop things on those sacrificial altars, you end up getting an item. You know, like paste for your bombs or something. But I didn't get any item. I'm gonna see if I can knock this guy out, and then while he's knocked out, I can quickly run by and he won't see me. And that appears to be the exit. There's some lava over there that I wanted to learn more about, but there's a whole bunch of enemies around and I just want to stay alive. See if a new level of the temple ends up being different. And so, here we are. There's a scorpion. Those can be dangerous. And there's something else here that could be dangerous that I don't know anything about yet, but I'm about to! Tab! <laughs> Crush Trap. Heavy stone block is imbued with the spirit of... Killing me, apparently. Ah, uh, so I didn't react fast enough. I presume I might have been able to jump off of it. Uh, but I just never encountered one of those before. But that was an awesome run. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys again soon.